Hello all. So in this tutorial, we'll model an office reception table in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's take a reference over here. Go into rendering, view image file, and let's take a reception furniture. So I want to model this over here. So very first of all, let's go on to the top view over here. Let's take a line tool let's take a line let's draw it with a line tool so select this vertices just push it a bit down select this both the vertices let's go into fillet so let's go into fillet and let's use a fillet over here so I'm using a bit of uh, more fillet over here in this way. <coughs> so after utilizing this, I'm just going to shift a bit over here. Now let's go over here and into rendering, enable in viewport, and let's make it as rectangular let's just push it up and increase its width all right so just increase its width a bit after doing this over here let's convert this to editable poly if you want to convert this to editable poly so let's convert it to editable poly over here <coughs> so let's go into modeling over here and let's use a swift loop over here and here and let's use one swift loop on the top go into polygons uh, let's use a bit of inset and let's if you want to extrude it before this i'll just delete this i'll go into this vertices i'll just push this down select this and extrude it a bit inside over here okay so we need some more details over here so again take a swift loop over here and here and take one more swift loop over here so select let's go into oops i'm sorry just click ok so let's go into this polygons over here and let's extrude it a bit so before extruding this what i can do over here is i'm going to use a swift loop over here so one swift loop over here and one swift loop over here now i can go into the polygon over here select the polygons select this polygons and just extrude it out and just click ok over here that's it all right now again select this both and just extrude it inside so again i'll go over here let's save this uh, file as a table reception table so let's go into the swift loop and I'll add one swift loop over here. That's it. So, so now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be just uh, selecting this polygons over here, all this polygons, and let's uh, extrude this up over here till here.
all right so after you are done we can just remove this loops afterwards so select this over here select this insert it so a bit click ok and just extrude it down push it inside and just click ok same thing over here insert it and just extrude it inside select this both uh, just insert it and just extrude it inside that's it all right so so after creation of this uh, again i will go into the swift loop over here and i will add one more loop over here so save your file so let's go into the edge over here uh, ring alt and r and over here go over here and control and click on this polygons and just click on extrude by local normal all right okay that's it so that can be uh, achieved over here now let's again go to the top view over here and again let's take a line over here on the other side let's take a line so i'll remove this i'll remove again i'll go into the line over here so i'll push this till here so select this and let's go down and let's use again a fillet over here so you can use a bit of fillet so just push this up and after doing this let's go into this enabling viewport and reduce this reduce this stuff so just let's push it inside let's go into the vertices again just push it inside just push it a bit in this way so the thickness for it is too much so just reduce its uh, length over here Uh, again just push this up press shift and drag to push this down let's go to the top view save your file just go to the top view and let's take a cylinder over here so just push this up so I'll just remove its height segments. I'll keep one height segment, two height segments. Increase a bit its height. So again, go to the top view. Push this one over here. Oh, cancel. Just select this again. Push this over here. And. okay and just make one more copy so i'll just give one material to it normal material over here all right so so for the glass we'll just make a give a standard material architectural and let's give a, a glass clear over here let's reduce its uh, transparency that's it all right so Now uh, let's go over here. So 
I'll go over here. Again, I'm going to polygon. All right. Now, so select the all and again extrude it. Again, extrude is out a bit, and same we require uh, one more swift loop over here. Let's use one more swift loop over here. All right, now. All right. Again, let's take a swift loop over here. All right. So that would be a different texture over here. So you can just give a wooden texture to it if you want. So again, I'll go into this uh, polygons. Let's select all of this. <coughs> I'll just insert it and just extrude it just inside perfect so i'll just press insert and extrude it all right so we'll just do it over here insert it and let's give again a extrude over here that's it all right so just save your file over here so if you want this uh, hollow part over here that can be achieved over here you can either use uh, you know boolean that's a pro boolean you can utilize it over here for that so let's make a cylinder over here just push this up so just press shift and duplicate it so we can just assign a basic texture over here if you want we can assign a texture over here so let's go into this compound objects pro boolean start picking so let's subtract this so as you can see we've got a hollow stuff over here so let's convert to poly over here so if you want you can just assign a wooden texture over here so I'll just assign a basic wooden texture so let's go into standard oh sorry you can go into the diffuse and you can just assign a basic uh, wooden texture over here and let's give it as 3 by 3 and give a UVW map over here your box that's it all right so let's go over here and make a plate Just save your files over here. Alright. So thanks for watching this tutorial.